Miss Opal, my moon pal. Now, this video is not sponsored, but I did receive this very special gift from my wonderful husband, Papa Bear, after I got my top surgery. Um, and she has helped me get through a lot of anxiety attacks and a lot of pain since coming out and having my gender affirming surgeries and in the process losing connection to a lot of people that I used to care about very deeply. <laughs> but that's for another video. Today we're focusing on Opal and on Moon Pals because they are weighted plushies that have their own special little story. special storybook and I want them all frankly because I think they're so freaking cute um, and they're very they they are gendered in the books but they also have a very non-binary look to me so I personally like to believe that all of them have a they pronoun so Opal is a she they because there is no gender for color. There is no gender for anything. So, let's get started. Hugs for all. Look at these glossy pages. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay. The mighty, magical moon power. and the hugs that saved the world. <clears throat> For my mom, whose hugs showed me just how powerful love can be in this world. Mm. Must be nice. Look up at the moon. See how brightly she shines in the night. Legend says that her light is not just any light. It holds magical, mystical powers. For she is Mother Moon. Her warm glow is the key to all life. And if you gaze at her just long enough, you might feel a small fizzle or a tiny spark. Her energy lives in your heart, keeping you and every being on earth calm and safe. One night, a long time ago, Mother Moon was watching over Earth, shining her magical moon energy down below. Her bright light glowed with peace and quiet, comforting Earth's creatures as they ended their day.
suddenly, a strange shadow crept in. It silently spread across the night sky, blocking each star one by one. It was the powerful Shadow King. He was jealous of Mother Moon's mystical glow and the happiness that she created below. How dare Earth be so peaceful? I must end this, he exclaimed. The Shadow King had one simple plan, to rule the world with his evil forces and fill the night with loneliness and despair. This also is an excellent metaphor for what it's like to be trans. You are Mother Moon, and the cis straights who don't like you are the Shadow King. So keep that in mind. With the moon energy gone, Earth's creatures became sad and hopeless. Mother Moon couldn't bear to watch. She had to defeat the Shadow King before it was too late. Look at the sad dog. Doesn't that just break your heart? Oh. do something to stop this, she exclaimed. I need to find a way to sneak past the Shadow King and bring my magical energy back to the earth. And suddenly, she had an idea. She mixed a pinch of moon dust with a splash of starlight, stirring in as much magical moon energy as she could. And with a thundering boom, look at her. And they say witchery is evil, please. Look at her conjuring up all this goodness. <gasps> there you are. The mighty magical moon pals were born. Brave Milo came first, bursting with honesty and courage. Gentle Echo was next, filled with patience and compassion. Clever Nova came third, gifted with curiosity and intelligence. Creative Opal followed, granted with hope and imagination. Kind Bow was last, flowing with peace and understanding. Aren't they so cute? Are you freaking kidding me? I want every single one of them. Moon Pals, please sponsor me. I love you so much and I love your message and I love what you do for people. I love weighted stuffies. I think they're so revolutionary. Like I have a weighted blanket, but weighted stuffies are like elite. Next level. Okay. The moon pals were mighty, but were they mighty enough to stop the Shadow King and save Earth's creatures? To be sure, Mother Moon reached deep into her heart and gave each Moon Pal a drop of her strongest magical moon energy. Love. She gave them love. The Moon Pal's bellies paused and most importantly, their hearts began to glow. With a simple loving hug, they could now turn any darkness into light. This is like, this truly is what I believed it would feel like if 
I had been able to come out to my mother and have her receive me with love, compassion, and unconditional understanding. Where it's like, it could make me glow from the inside out, but I didn't, I didn't get that from my mom. So you know what I did? I gave it to myself. And it's like I've said before, whatever you're giving to everybody else, I want you to reach inside of yourself and pull out your inner child and give it to them. Give all of that glow to them because they didn't get it growing up. And now, instead of trying to rely on someone else to give you this glow, you have to turn inward and do it yourself. That's not a job, it's a privilege. And it gives you the ability not only to completely understand and respect yourself, but to protect yourself. Self-preservation is different than wanting to genuinely protect your heart and your soul. You don't need to just survive while you're alive. You're allowed to glow and you're allowed to thrive. Ready to save Earth's creatures, they launched from Mother Moon's highest crest, soaring past the Shadow King as he slept. With love in their hearts, the Moon Pals landed on Earth, ready to heal with their hugs. moon energy near and far. They warmed the sad, lost, and lonely hearts, filling each one with their love. And just like that, Earth's creatures were calm and smiling once again. They slept soundly in their beds as peace returned to Earth. It looks like all the creatures are happy again, said Milo. It's time to make our way back to Mother Moon. Nova exclaimed. These hugs won't last. To keep the earth peaceful, we need to stop the Shadow King for good. The Shadow King suddenly appeared and laughed at the Moon Pals. <laughs> Your powers are no match for me. I will block this magical moon energy forever. Remember the most important power Mother Moon gave us, whispered Opal. There is still one creature we have not hugged, said Milo, taking the lead. Echo agreed. That's right, the one who needs it more than anyone. To hug the Shadow King, we go, shouted Bo. The Moon Pals mustered the rest of their strength to give the Shadow King their mightiest and most magical hug. Together, they wrapped their arms around him, squeezing so tight that he could not resist. As love entered his cold heart, it started to glow, radiating with peace and kindness. Because sadly, the truth is, is the people that bully you actually need a lot of love and attention and they're not receiving it somewhere that's really important and so all that anger all that pain all that resistance they receive they immediately just barf it up on anyone who gets in their way think about it 
what's he doing? He's bullying the earth for not having what? Angst, depression, sadness, like him. He finally receives real, genuine, unconditional love because he deserves it too. Just like you deserve love, even when you're at your worst. You deserve to be loved no matter what phase of life you're in. No matter if you're poor, if you're houseless, if you are depressed, if you've lost a partner, whatever it may be, you deserve to be loved even when you're low, especially when you're low. And you need to say that to yourself. It's important. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't the truth. Full of light, he swept up his shadow and returned to his galaxy, promising never again to disrupt the Earth and all its creatures. Mother Moon could once again shine down on Earth, all thanks to the Moon Pals and their mighty magical hugs. She couldn't have been more proud of her moon pals and anointed them as special guardians of her energy and Earth's magical protectors forevermore. Ever since that night, the mighty magical moon pals fly forth together, spreading love near and far with their magical hugs. Could you imagine? If, like, a cute, adorable alien like this showed up and said, Hi, I'm just here to love you. Do you want a hug? I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could use a hug. I could use a hug. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know what, Moon Pals? If you're watching this, which I hope you are, um... You should make a version of Moon Pals that has little patches that glow in the dark. Since they glow in the story, I think that would be so cute. I would love it if my Moon Pal lit up, like under their eyes and their paws and their belly. Like if the little moons were made with that um, black light something or like a reactive glow in the dark thing. I think that would be a really cool aspect to add. Since they're already so like special and they're like, this is like a designer plushie. Like, it, it's pretty expensive to get a Moon Pal. I think they're like $75 because they're weighted and they're, they're knitted and they're big. And they come with a beautiful story made on like really nice paper, like good quality paper. But I think it would be cool to add that effect as well as like an option. It would also be cool if there were potentially Moon Pals that you could open up the body. Because the body's not weighted. It's the arms and the legs. Um, if you could open up the back of the body and put like a scented bag in there, like of rose or lavender or chamomile, you know, things that are like super soothing to smell when you go to sleep. I don't know. Just, just thoughts, just thoughts for what I like to create. Okay. <clears throat> now, when you gaze up at the night sky and see a soft glow, you can be sure that mother moon and her moon pals are working very hard to keep you safe. And remember, if you ever feel sad or scared, there's no need to worry. Your moon pal is always here to give you your very own mighty magical hug. I do love that they chose like purple as a main color to work with in the story because purple is one of my favorite colors. The end. Hugs for all. you enjoyed this story. Um, I really wanted to read it for you and I'm glad that I did. 
and uh, if you're interested in finding yourself a moon pal I will tag them in the description box um, I love my moon pal it's been very helpful for me whenever I've been having panic attacks or if I feel anxiety ridden or um, pretty much you know anything to do with my mental illness and how wild it can be sometimes this has been incredibly helpful and it was also very helpful to have as I recovered through my surgery <laughs> surgeries because I had two within the span of like a month I think was it within a month I think it was within a month so pretty cool the way that um, medical procedures can be today I think that's kind of iconic but thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time baby